Hi friends, fast serve, this is our iPhone 360 reader. It's time to talk about the best tips to fix iPhone power off slider not working. The power off slider has long been part of iOS. As the name itself suggests, it is designed to let you shut down your iPhone with ease. While this feature mostly works as expected, recently many users have complained that the iPhone power off slider is not working or not showing up at all. If this issue has ached you as well, check out these viable tips to fix the problem. That said, let's jump right in. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First off, I would suggest you to remove the rugged case from your iPhone. Some rugged or heavy duty cases lack the tactile buttons which makes using the power or the volume buttons a painful experience. So if you are using a heavy duty case, remove the case and then press the side button to check if the power of slider appears. After that, I would suggest you to hard reset your iPhone. Hard reset aka force reset or force restart has long been an exceptionally effective solution for fixing common iOS issues. Therefore, I would suggest you to give it a try. On iPhone 8 or later, you have to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button, then you have to hold down the side button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. And on iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you have to hold down the volume down button and the side button at once until the Apple logo shows up on the screen. And on iPhone 6s or earlier, you have to hold down the home button and the top or the side button at once until the Apple logo appears on the screen. Next up, I would suggest you to adjust the side button click speed of your iPhone. Notably, iOS allowed you to adjust the speed required to double or triple click the side button of your iPhone. So, depending on your needs, you can choose to keep the speed normal or slow it down in line with your preference. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone and then choose accessibility. Now, tap on side button and then choose slow or slowest. After that, restart your iPhone. Once your iPhone has rebooted, press and hold the side button and either volume button to check if the power of slider has appeared. If it has, you have gotten the better of the problem. Now go back to the side button setting and choose default. Then after, I will suggest you to update the software on your iPhone. If the problem persists, I will suggest you to update the software on your iPhone as there could very well be a software bug behind the whole issue. Hopefully, updating the software would be able to get rid of the problem. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone, then tap on general. After that, tap on software update. And finally, download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS as usual. And finally, I would suggest you to contact the Apple support. If you haven't been able to find the solution, I would suggest you to contact Apple support at the earliest. There could be a hardware failure at the heart of the issue. Hence, get the power of button repaired sooner than later. That's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix iPhone power of slider not working issue. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.